Every year, 12 million US and EU citizens suffer from venous leg ulcers as a result of ineffective circulation, which is known as chronic venous disease, and it destroys lives. So unfortunately, it has a proven impact on quality of life as heart failure. It's a very prevalent disease. It affects one in four of every adult in this room, and it's one in three over the age of 65, and is the fourth most common chronic disease in the world which leads to an amazing healthcare spend of up to 3% of Western healthcare budgets, and it gets worse for 4% of patients per year if you don't treat symptoms. Those symptoms start when blood flows in the wrong directions. Valves in your leg veins, which are responsible for stopping blood flowing backwards, they fail over time due to weakening of vein walls and valve leaflets, which then allows blood to flow backwards. It then, you then get this varicosity and pooling of blood. The goal of current treatment is to close this disease vein and allow blood to circulate in healthy veins. The symptoms start with varicose veins and lead to aching, pain, and swelling. Then you get this inverted champagne bottle of edema, and as blood begins to leak into the surrounding tissue, the skin changes and discolors. That leads to these chronic open wounds, which are known as venous leg ulcers, which cause 80% of all leg ulcers which have a venous origin. This leads to 12 million sufferers in the US and EU who have this vicious cycle of recurrence between active and he temporarily healed ulcers, and they cost $10,000 each per year to manage. Current treatments are unacceptable. They burn out the vein, which is very invasive. And in order to start this minimally invasive procedure, they have to inject the patient with 10 to 20 stab injections to inject a liter of anesthetic fluid to prevent skin and nerve injury. So patients are either in tears or they present when it, until it's too late. These current uh, thermal treatments, they are effective, but this invasiveness is even worse when you get into the higher spectrum of venous leg ulceration, which occurs below the knee and poses a higher risk of skin and nerve injury. So while uh, a non-inferior efficacy and a less invasive option is, is where we're headed. Unfortunately, venous ulcers are uh, conservatively managed, which is even worse because they're not treating the problem. They wrap the, the leg with compression bandaging, which needs to be changed twice uh, every two weeks. And it leads to this 50% recurrence rate at four years. And it's a vicious cycle for, for uh, patients. Healing takes about three to six months as well. The early venous reflux ablation study at the NHS is a randomized controlled study conducted in 2019, which proved by vascular surgeons that treating chronic venous disease not only reduces recurrence time and it reduces healing rates of these venous ulcer patients. So the ideal treatment would not only treat, but it would prevent the advanced ulceration symptoms and restore uh, quality of life for millions of patients worldwide. And that's why we've developed our Invira device. It's the world's first uh, medical device to, to treat varicose veins and venous ulcers without harmful side effects. This short animation video shows how the device works. It's an endovenous uh, system, which has a simple five French catheter, which is entered into the vein and deployed with a single-handed technique. The business end of the device is a purely mechanical abrasive uh, helical coil, which has a textured surface. It, this is an outpatient-based uh, procedure um, with over 90% of cases in the US treated in an out outpatient setting. So we use ultrasound guidance, the same as the standard of care. With the five French system, the physician enters just distally of the refluxing section and navigates without a guide wire up the truncal vein towards just shy of the deep system with the junction of the saphenofemoral vein. Then the coil is deployed, unfurling, uh, 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 withdrawing the outer sheath and unfurling the helical coil, which expresses an outward radial force on the vein. And then the, the coil is simply withdrawn, which triggers intense venous spasm in the response to injury, but also uh, causes the cellular damage in the vein wall necessary to promote long-term healing with an inflammatory response. Everything is removed from the patient at this stage. We don't leave anything behind. The uh, response uh, creates thrombostasis, which is then absorbed by the body in a fibrotic cord, which fills the vein lumen. And simply put, this stops blood flowing backwards in the wrong direction towards the foot and allows blood to circulate 
back to the heart with, through the deep, healthy veins. The value proposition is clear. It's non-inferior to market-leading thermal ablation. It's safe. It's pain-free. It doesn't have harmful side effects of competitors. It's faster physician, for physicians because they don't need injections to prepare for the uh, technique, and it's intuitive with no capital uh, requirements. We have key opinion leader support for this, uh, from Dr. Lowell Kabanek, who sees great potential for this class two single uh, use device. We're targeting a premium of $1,500 in line with current non-thermal treatments and a cost of goods sold of $150 for a high markup of 90%. There's no predicate here, so it's a de novo regulatory pathway which provides for differentiation when we go to seek a new reimbursement code, and it has no capital requirements. The market size, conservatively, is over $3 billion worldwide, with only with you in the US, EU, and Japan alone serving up to $1.8 billion. And we believe 20% of this market is achievable in the medium term. To date, we've raised $5 million in seed private equity funding, plus the same in public uh, non-dilutive funding, which we've used to progress to the clinic in 2021, where we treated our first 11 patients, which proved that the platform is safe, it's pain-free, and it provides for clinical and quality of life improvements for all patients. Since then, we've improved the device with the Gen 2 uh, update using that clinical experience. The new design builds on what we know it relies more on the uh, venous spasm we're accurately triggering now, and it has a more abrasive surface. But we've also developed the clinical technique required to get the best from this purely mechanical novel approach. And our preclinical results from last year are better than anything we've seen and up there with the best uh, uh, current technologies. We're bringing that back into the clinic uh, in the next months. Uh, for a, a pilot trial in Budapest where we treat up to 40 patients. And this year we're raising a 20 million Series A round. That round will fund regulatory ID studies here in the US of up to 50 patients for our de novo submission and C marking in Europe and Japan. We'll also fund a pivotal comparison study versus radio frequency uh, ablation to prove non-inferior efficacy and less side effects and start off that payer engagement and uh, clinical data marketing uh, studies. This shows the timeline of our planned uh, execution for those studies with the ID study running in sequence to, to the pivotal trial for payers. Then we would plan to raise a further Series B round for full-scale commercial entry. We built a strong team of experienced, technical, scientific, clinical, and commercial backgrounds. And we have a, a, a board member from Nipro Corporation, one of the top four healthcare companies who led our seed round as well. We met following the biodesign process at BioInnovate Ireland, uh, which is the only, only Stanford-affiliated biodesign uh, program internationally. Current uh, market leader is Medtronic, where they have radio frequency. But the future is non-thermal, which hasn't been secured because current non-thermals are either less efficacious or they have increased side effects. Recent acquisitions from Boston Scientific and BD prove that this is an area of interest for existing peripheral intervention companies, including our own seed round backer, Nipro. This shows the exit values in the area, but what it proves is that early trade sales are uh, possible here at the regulatory three stages and early stage commercial traction between the A and the Series B rounds. So with uh, a growing uh, epidemic of high, uh, high associated healthcare costs, uh, scientific evidence for earlier intervention, we feel now is the time for a less invasive solution for this purely office-based procedure. We're interested in talking to new investors who can join us in our journey to restore quality of life to millions of patients across the world. Thank you very much.